C5 Z06 versus S2000. When I was 18, I saw an S2000 CR sitting on the showroom floor at Honda. I asked them if I could go for a test drive, and they said no, but they let me test drive a normal S2000, and I walked away thinking, who the heck would buy this thing? Recently, I paid $23,000 to get my S2000 Club Racer out from the middle of the US back out to California, and that was the car that I previously didn't want, you know? So it's interesting. So let's discuss the prices. Interestingly, both of these cars can be picked up for about the same price. My Z06 that I picked up recently was $13,000. My first S2000 was only $6,000, and that was after uh, they stopped producing them, the prices of them just fell. No one really wanted them. Now when I realized all the little things I had to fix on my Z06 when I bought it for $13,000, I think it would be wise to have spent more money on the Z06 and bought a nicer one. With the S2000, the cheap S2000, there was nothing wrong with it. I just put a new top on it and that was it. The unfortunate thing though today is that S2000s are a lot more expensive. Maintenance. Both of these cars are incredibly cheap to maintain. When I bought my GM brake rotors, they were $30 per corner. And the S2000 rotors can be picked up for a little bit less. Oil changes are cheap. The Z06 had a bunch of weird electrical issues pop up during my ownership period, and the S2000 had none. Apparently these little electrical issues are typical on the Corvette. I don't know, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like a BMW. Now going to the track. Both of these cars make great track toys. The S2000 is known as a twitchy car. It will swap ends very easily. It feels like a real sports car. The Z06 is very complacent and very planted on the track. If I was building an endurance race car, these are some traits that I would look for. Still a fun car to drive. Competitive driving with the Z06 will get expensive because of classing. The S2000 will be less expensive because it will be classed lower and uh, you can probably afford to be more competitive with that. Track day consumables. The S2000 is pretty easy on tires when you get it set up properly. The common tire size, 255, 40, 17 all around, is very inexpensive. The Z06, people like to run 18 inch rims all the way around. So for the square setup for the Z06, if I'm buying NT01 tires for a track day tire, I'm looking at $294 a tire at today's prices. And then the S2000 prices, it's $171 per tire, which is not a huge difference, but it adds up. In stock form, the S2000 needs more power or less weight. And I chose the latter when I built my first one. I ended up gutting the car. And if you get a 2006 and up S2000 with drive-by-wire, you can put a test pipe on it with a flash pro. Right there, it's pretty much perfect. That's the uh, sweet spot as far as power goes. I don't really need any more power than that. And, and if you do need more power, this engine can actually handle some boost. But the power on the S2000 is very accessible at the street speeds because the gears are short, the engine revs up high. The instant steering response makes this car very fun to drive, even at low speeds on the uh, back roads. Now, talking about the Z06, as far as power goes, the Z06 has enough power for me. If you grew up in America, chances are you have had a chance to work with a Generation 3 uh, V8 from Chevy. It's ridiculously easy to make more power with this engine. The basic head and cam swap can be done with a set of hand tools. GM spent an enormous amount of money and time building this engine and the story of the Generation 3 V8 is very interesting. When you look at the final design that they came up with, it appears antiquated, but the numbers speak for themselves. When you dig deeper and see the design challenges that the engineers face, you will develop a greater appreciation for this engine. Now when you're building this engine, you only get to pick one cam profile. Uh, the interesting thing with the Honda, the VTEC, you get two cam profiles on both the exhaust and intake camshaft. And then on the internet you see people making fun of VTEC. These people are just making fun of themselves because they have probably never actually built a uh, fast car. If they had, they would understand how beneficial it is to have two cam profiles. It eliminates an enormous compromise uh, that you encounter when you build an engine. So having two cam profiles to work with is very nice. Fuel economy. I don't know where the stated fuel economy numbers come from but my S2000 returned a lot better fuel economy than my Z06. If you cruise along on the highway, the Z06 will get excellent fuel economy, and so will the S2000, but 
Uh, if you bought a sports car, why would you do that? You wanna drive it. Now this is a big deal for me because fuel and track events are my biggest expenses. Uh, let's talk about the image. One of my ex-girlfriends told me that the S2000 was a gay car. So naturally, I started seeing other women. The C5Z06 has a macho image. And that's cool if you're in high school, but when you get older, no one really cares. Which one would I pick? I would pick the S2000, simply because it's more fun to drive, and it's also less expensive to run. I'm at a point now where I don't really have to worry about the cost of the car. I would still pick the S2000, and that's why I spent so much money on my latest S2000, because I wanted to get a really nice one. The bottom line here is that both of these cars are very cheap. Both of these cars are hard to beat. I think at current pricing levels, the C5Z06 is undervalued, but I don't see the prices going up. I don't think that that's an investment. I don't think any car is an investment. People are telling me that my Club Racer is an investment car. Well, I'm probably gonna depreciate the hell out of it then. The best thing that you can do is to drive both of these cars and buy the one that you want. Uh, don't buy a car to impress other people. Buy the one that makes you the most happy. You'll be better off that way. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your car.